Hello everybody, I am back with what I believe will be my last layout using the Chamel Best of Both Worlds kit for February. Um, I realize that these are going up in March, but as I've said before, it's easier for me to post them in the following month. Um, simply because sometimes my kit doesn't get to me very quick and, um, yeah, it's just, it's just easier for me if I can post them the following month of the kit. So, uh, for today I am scrapbooking some photos for my mom's, um, scrapbook album of her dog, Rocket, who passed away almost two years ago. Yeah, it'll almost be two Yeah, it'll be two years this year. And, uh, I haven't, I, I, I had all the photos printed for this album and I didn't scrapbook them because I was struggling, um, not with the, the pictures of the dogs, but I was struggling with the fact that like every picture is the same. So I didn't know, um, what to do necessarily for, titling and how to divide up the pictures on different pages when they're all the same. <laughs> so, um, so I am making a pocket for the journaling. I will probably do this fairly frequently for this particular album, just in case there's something that they want to write down that they don't want everybody to read all the time. And then what I will do is because it's going in a creative memories album, I will cut a little slit in the page protector once I get the page protectors on and everything is finished so that the card is, is easily pulled out. But, um, if you don't know about it, then, you know, then you wouldn't know to, to try and get those, that little card out. So I am... Um, just creating a pocket by putting some foam tape around the pocket edge where the card is going to slide into. This is, um, for me, this is the simplest way to make a pocket. And then I will just stick some foam pieces uh, everywhere else on the pocket. I'm using... I'm not sure what that's called. It's by 3M, like Scotch 3M. I think it's called something like photo mounting foam or something like that. Um, I got mine off Amazon. I do have some other rolls of foam type that I want to give a try, but they are not nearly as big. Um, so I don't expect them to last as long. That roll of foam tape has lasted me almost two years now. Now I don't use it for everything. Um, obviously I still use my foam squares. I use the scrapbook.com brand of foam squares generally. Um, I like the dimension of the scrapbook.com squares. I find them, you know, just to be the right height to add things. They're not too thick. I find a lot of foam squares to be really bulky and thick. So I'm trying to use up a whole bunch of the supplies that I got for this kit and I'm really struggling. Um, yeah, I have so many things left, including paper. The paper I'm not super concerned with. It's the ephemera packages. I, I, I looked through that ephemera pack so many times to try and get the pieces on the pages and I just, I, I, I couldn't use them they're just so weird. Like a peace sign fingers, um, a peach, which I mean, a peach wouldn't be bad if it were the summer and we had peaches, but it's February, March. Well, it's going up in March, but I made these in February. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do about it. So I've kept them all. I mean, I, I keep all of my stuff, but yeah. So there, I just used a whole bunch of the word stickers that had phrases on them that I felt were appropriate for the subject matter of the puppy dogs. And I want to use this um, chipboard piece that says this, I think it says this is real life. 
um, I always, always, oh yes, this is real life. I always, always, always glue down, um, my chipboard pieces. Oh, here, my glue bottle was being difficult. So I'm cleaning out the nozzle, which apparently is recommended, um, with this glue. I also always take my little precision tip nozzle out. I have a couple magnets on, I have a, um, a metal storage box right in front of me that I keep pens and tools and things in and I it's magnetic so I stuck my precision tip and my pin to it so that they wouldn't go missing around my desk so here you can see me going through all the ephemera pieces again I'm looking for all the hearts yeah I think that these ephemera pieces are going to be passed on to somebody else. They're really not what I like. I'm, I'm not, not a fan. Yeah, not a fan of them. So I am using all the hearts. I, and I think that's all I use. So for that, that heart at the top there, I did pop it up, but I was very careful as to where I put it. I didn't put it right above where that three by four card was because that's what's going to pull out of the pocket for the journaling. You want to keep in mind um, not to place anything above where you're going to um, be pulling items in and out of a page if you're doing an interactive style layout. This is... Um, Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray. So it's a glossy acrylic split spray in gilt. Glit? Glit? No, gilt. Gilt. Like G-I-L-T. Like if you gilt. I don't know. It's a weird name. But um, so far I like it. I've been trying to find something that's similar to the Heidi Swap one. And this one seems to be a winner. So thank you all for coming to watch this video. And I will see you soon. Bye.